What's going on? I'm Larry Hoover Jr. and I'm rocking with Street Certified News. Oh, it is your boy Kiss, man. Shout out to Street Certified News. Yo, it's your boy L. Hitter, Mr. Oh, yeah, y'all already know what it is, man. I'm rocking with Street Certified News. We got behind the scenes, man. We're gonna tie this bitch up. What up, this is your boy Bum J. We rockin' with Street Certified News. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, I'm Grappo, man. Street Certified News. We back with another one. For this video, man, hey, y'all know how we do. Hey, I need y'all to stop. Man, smack that like button, man. Um, This is a story that's really has been out for a little bit. Um, We've had this paperwork for almost a year now. Uh, But... You know, we at that time, we didn't really feel like uh, this story warranted us speaking about it. Um, you know, in the last few months, the dude uh, DQ has been, you know, he's been making big appearances and doing press runs. Uh, right now, he's currently signed with a 100K uh, track. I think that's the dude that was like a YNW Melly. That was a dude who signed King Von. Right now, DQ is uh, working with dude. And I see he's really trying to, you know what I'm saying? He's really trying to put himself out there. So I thought maybe now would be the time to just give you guys a little bit of information, uh, unbiased, um, and that's kind of why we sat on it. You know what I mean? Again, man, we always tell you guys, hey, we're not really trying to be the, you know, the snitching police and all that stuff, man. We 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 hear those things being whispered from time to time. Um, but in being unbiased, man, uh, when you got paperwork like this, you know, sitting on our desk for almost a year, uh, we felt it necessary that we go over it and maybe you know see how you guys feel man so at the end of this video man hey drop a comment tell us what you think uh you know what i'm saying for this story as we break it down uh again man i think this video hopefully man we get this video to 500 likes um when you guys hit that like button man it really helps the video and the algorithm and again we appreciate y'all for rocking with us man um this week's story uh, your boy dq man o block member Accused of snitching in the 2016 gun case. Let's get right into it. Daquan Forrest, aka DQ, was born and raised in the Parkway Gardens apartment complex on the south side of Chicago, near 64th and Martin Luther King Drive, a neighborhood now also called O Block. Growing up with childhood friends like Davon Bennett, aka King Von and Marcus Smart, a.k.a. Muop, a young Daquan Forrest, and a young Marcus Smart would be initially steered towards a positive path in life. However, the neighborhood where DQ was from would lead him and his friends in a different way. DQ's choices may have been looking like they paid off with the 2018 release of his big brother, Davon Bennett, a.k.a. King Von. Within the next two years, King Von will become a household name amongst Drill fans, amassing hundreds of thousands of followers and million dollar record contracts. Through all of that, during the height of the O Block STL Street War, DQ would be front and center, especially with him being a rapper himself now. So much so that DQ would be one of the names whispered as a possible shooter during the early days of the FBG Doug murder investigation. In late 2020, and with the death of King Von, DQ was put even more in the spotlight. Him and a number of O Block rappers, including Muwap, wanted to carry the torch for King Von, considering he did so much for their careers. But by late 2022, and with the arrest of the O Block Six, in the subsequent Rico murder trial for fallen rapper FBG Duck, DQ's career seemed to be on hold. No longer was he a staple in the old block neighborhood he was from, or being shouted out by other old block rappers. Many believe it was down to a 2016 gun case, where Daquan Forrest, aka DQ, gave a little too much information on his Cody James Gardner, aka O Block Friday. You know, people send us this information. People send us these uh, links with all of these people's paperwork in it. It's not really something that we're go out. We looking, you know what I'm saying? We don't got no beef with DQ. Uh, Daquan Forrest, you know what I'm saying? I never met the dude. On May 12, 2016, an 18 year old Daquan Forrest and his friend James Gardner are invited over a woman's home on the city's west side. 
upon entering the residence, Daquan and his friend engage in conversation with the female occupants in the basement. The woman who Gardner was presumably there to see would later tell police that an argument started between her and Gardner after she asked him for $25 cash. Gardner, she told police, then began breaking items in her home and forcibly pulled a blue steel gun out of his friend's waistband, pacing the home menacingly with it, causing the women to call police. When police arrived, both Gardner and DQ would be arrested. At the scene, DQ would claim that he did not have a gun. But after speaking with the women for a second time, he would also be arrested and charged with possession of the gun. When officers transported both men to the police station to be processed, they conducted an interview to collect additional evidence. When read his Miranda rights, suspect James Gardner declined to be interviewed and requested a lawyer to be present for any further proceedings. During that same interview, DQ would tell a different story. When interviewed, DQ would claim that he did argue with his friend to calm him down in the woman's home, but that he was never in possession of any weapon. Forrest would claim that he saw his friend Gardner with a black gun in his waist, not a blue one, while arguing with the victim, and that he only argued with his friend to calm him down, not to take back possession of the gun. Given these circumstances, during the interview, DQ felt that he shouldn't be charged with a gun. However compelling his story was, Chicago police would eventually charge both men with the gun, releasing them on bond the next day. Following these events, DQ would go on to build on his growing rap career, collaborating with people like Little Reese, King Von, and Muop. Although Gardner would not serve jail time for these charges, he has not had such a lucrative aftermath for the events. And when questioned online by fans, O'Block Friday claims that DQ is solid as it comes. There's a chance that when he was originally questioned, James Gardner had not yet seen this paperwork. Man, so hey, what do y'all think, man? Uh, was the boy DQ talking too much, man? Did he tell on his homie James Gardner? Uh, we would like to put out there that, um, you know, when James Gardner was, I guess some people on it wasn't us, but some people on the internet hit him up and asked him about the boy DQ. Um, hey, he had nothing but good things to say about DQ. He said, you know, that's my rappy man. He's solid as it is. Um, we, we are unaware if when he was asked those questions, he had seen this paperwork. Um, and like we said, we, we, we've never seen them dudes, you know, linked up, taking pictures together, uh, really you know, making it look like it, it wasn't some sort of issue. You know, some people feel like once King Von died and this paperwork came out, um, it was a real blow to the dude DQ's rap career. Like I said, you know, he is saying right now currently to a 100K track, but he hasn't had a lot of traction in terms of his music. He's done some big interviews and had some big press this year. Um, so you can tell he really still trying to push it, but um, you know, a lot of people say this is the reason why you don't see him in the O Block uh, documentary that went viral. This is the reason why you don't see O Block standing behind him. And, you know, he's kind of been off to the side doing his thing. Uh, you know, even though there's been no real official story about this. And that's really why we, you know, felt that this was important uh, as a story to drop. Uh, again, man, hey, it's your boy MX El Grappo, man. Street certified news. The most reputable source for urban news, man. We're going to keep telling y'all the stories that maybe certain people don't want to tell. Uh, we're going to keep being unbiased, uh, provide as much factual documentation as possible, man. We appreciate you for rocking with us, man. We love you. We out.